Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Abris, which is a physics-based destruction game where we have to place blocks and pillars and bombs and lasers and other bits and bobs in order to destroy some tired old buildings, and if we get it right, they collapse in a very satisfying kind of a way. Because I've always thought there's something weirdly enjoyable about watching big buildings being demolished, like cooling tower things at power plants, the big kind of round kind of cooling stack things. When they're demolished, they collapse inwards in a sort of very very fluid, very satisfying sort of a way. So yes, this game is all about setting up your demolition tools and then sitting back and admiring the results of your work, which is all very nice indeed. Now this is the demo of the game. The full game is planned for release in the first half of this year, I believe, and whilst this demo is not available right now, it will be part of the upcoming Steam Next Fest thing, which runs from the 21st to the 28th of February, and there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, so you can check out the game and wishlist it and what have you if you would like to. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's go and demolish some stuff. Okay, so there is a campaign mode that takes place over a number of different worlds. So we have World 1 Extinction, then we have World 2 Annihilation, World 3 Corrosion, World 4 Erosion, and World 5 Combustion. All very happy, upbeat sounding worlds, I'm sure. Now we don't have every single level available because of course, as you can see, we're in the demo version and a lot of these are not available. But we do have a good handful of levels that we can play. For example, there's two down here in Erosion. We've got two over here in Corrosion. Then up here, I think there's a couple in Annihilation as well. And we have four, I believe, over here in Extinction. But we're going to start very small and very basic with the intro level. Let's just get used to how all this kind of works and what's going on with a lovely, nice, straightforward intro. And here we go. Now, I don't quite know what is going on in the world of Abris. I don't know how we got to where we are right now. I mean, we're in the future, that much is fairly obvious. If we have a look at these two white buildings here that we do need to destroy, these are our target buildings, you will notice that they are floating. They're kind of just, you know, hovering around the place, held up by these kind of jet engine things. So that's quite futuristic. Also, there is a big kind of purple wibbly thing, very futuristic. There's some like floaty drone things. And there are these little kind of tiny robots, I assume, sort of, you know, bullet billing their way around our target building. So it's all very futuristic, but I don't really know what's happened to humanity. I don't know what's gone on with the people. I mean, are there any people left? I do not know. I mean, all the kind of campaign world names sounded quite bleak, didn't they? With, you know, corrosion and extinction, all that kind of stuff. And if we just pan the camera around a bit, I mean, it doesn't look very good, does it? The prospects for humanity look quite bad indeed. So I don't really know what the story is, but whatever the case, we have a job to do. We need to destroy these buildings here, particularly we need to destroy the kind of wibbly purple thing just there. So we've got ourselves six ultra heavy cubes. That's all we have. And we have this kind of yellow sticky outy platform thing just here to work from. And that's kind of it. So what we have to do is we have to try and build a structure that's going to kind of fall on this and knock it down because all we have is cubes. So if we pick that up, if we say, okay, I have a cube, please. And we can see the outline of the cube. So we put that there. So it's not real time kind of right now. We build a kind of support structure for all of our cubes, as you will see. So we'll pop that down just there. And then if we just pan round, we can see that that's being held up by kind of some scaffold type things. So then if we put another one on top like that, that's also being held up and another one up there and another one up there and another one at the top. And how many have we got? Six. Oh, let's use the final block, shall we? Let's use the final block. So they're all being supported on these great big kind of weird, I don't know, pyramids of, of doom. I don't know what they are. Um, so they're all being supported. When we press go, all those supports get removed and these things will fall down because of physics. And I think they should fall pretty much straight onto the purple thing. So here we go. Let's see how we get on. So here we go. Yeah, we've lined up our explosive -y kind of demolition things. Let's sit back and just, you know, enjoy, enjoy the fruits of our endeavor. So here we go. Press go. They'll fall away. The things fall down and boom. Oh, and it's, it's brutal. It's brutal. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. Apart from the little kind of sort of bullet bill robots, which now do look a little bit sad. <laughs> Did we just knock down their home? I don't know. But there we go. That is it. So the first level is complete. Nice and straightforward. One move, 99%. I rather think it was 100%. There was nothing left. But okay, right. So let's go to the next level. Now, I think this was, was this the tutorial level? 
This might have been the tutorial level, possibly, or I certainly did this as part of the tutorial. So here we go. We've now got two buildings. These aren't floating. These are fixed. But again, it looks very bleak. Look at this. I mean, what's that over there? What is that over there? I don't know what's going on with the world. It is not looking good. Yeah, this is weird. What is that? Like a ship or a fish or something? I don't know what's happening. Anyway, right. So we need to destroy that thing and that thing. So the two purple wibbly things need to be destroyed. So let's try and sort of come around this way. So now we've got four ultra heavy cubes. We've got two connectors and we've got two heavy pillars. Okay, so I think if we build, I mean, can we push one building into the other? So if we just, I don't know, pop that right on the edge like that and then build a stack of, build a stack of cubes. Uh, oh no, hang on. No, they need to be leaning a bit so they fall over, don't they? Of course they do. Hang on a minute, hang on. Undo, undo. There we go. Right, so stack the most they're a little bit wibbly. And again, we get the support structure thing, so that's fine. So just stack all them like that. And then, what's a connector do? So put a connector on like that. And then what does that do exactly? We can just connect a thing onto the top. And then, what if we put another connector like that? Hang on, I've got an idea. Can we stick that to the, can we tilt that to the side somehow? So we put that on the top, that's okay. Because then that will fall down and bash that. But then could we stick bits onto the side of the connector? Can we twist the, the angle that goes at? That would be good if we could flip that round. I'm not entirely sure we can. Oh, we can, ah, yes, we can click it onto the side. Okay, yeah, let's do that, shall we? So we've now got this kind of great big kind of battering ram type thing. Yeah, okay, this should be fun. Right, go, and it's gonna, oh no, oh, it's gone wrong, it's too top heavy. Okay, right, that, that miserably failed. <laughs> okay, no, that didn't work at all. Clear, let's start again. Ooh, crikey, okay, uh, reset the level reset that that was uh that was a dismal failure let's let's never talk of that ever again maybe maybe we need to create sort of two two bits across the bottom here maybe like that and then again get them hang on can we zoom in a bit there we go right and then get that sort of leaning and that leaning yeah because last time it was too top heavy and it fell backwards didn't it it wasn't leaning enough i don't think and then a connector and a connector and then can we just put Put it like that, or is that going to fall backwards as well? Is that going to tumble backwards? I don't know. Let's give it a go, shall we? Oh, it might be a bit more successful than the other attempt. And right, the building is falling down. The purple things are destroyed. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the most efficient way to destroy that building, but the purple wibbly things were taken down and the level is complete. There's not much left. There's not a lot left of that building. We destroyed... 82% of it in one move. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I'm happy with that. Um, destroy targets on build grounds to unlock. What does that mean? Oh, we can destroy targets on those things to get rid of them. Ah, okay. Right, so one out of two ravine. Okay, I see. So we might have to now take multiple goes to make this work. So that building needs to be removed because we need to then get a new build point over here to then destroy these two wibbly purple things over here. Okay, okay, right, that's fine. We can try this. We have got some connectors. I'm not entirely sure how to twist the bits round so they can do what I would like, but um, okay, so how about we have heavy pillar like that and another one and another one and then can we just stick a heavy beam? Hang on, can we put a connector on the top of that and then a heavy beam on the... T I want to kind of put it so it's on the front. Can we do that? Like that. Yes. That is perfect. So that will clobber that thing very nicely indeed. So let's do one stage of that. So, boom. That hits the building. Oh, no, no. That's... Oh, no, it has worked. Okay, no, it is working. Right, so that's gone. So that explodes the thing, hopefully. Has that blown up the wibbly thing? The wibbly thing has not yet exploded, but I think if it falls down there, surely it's got to explode. Okay, there we go. There was an explosion. Um, however, we've not freed this up, have we? <laughs> we've not freed that up at all well. Um, 
Okay, right, so clear. Does that clear all the rubble? Oh no, there we go, there we go. Right, so we have parts left. We press clear, it clears the rubble, and now we do have access to this. Okay, right, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So now we need to get over there to knock that down. Oh, crikey, that's that's a tough ask, isn't it? Okay, hang on. So there's something needs to fall down. So put a tall bit there, and then another tall bit right on the edge, maybe, like that. Um, that's just gonna, that's not gonna reach though, is it? That's never gonna reach. Hang on. And then we need to go, do we need another bit on the top possibly? Oh, this might go wrong. This might be slightly too top heavy again. Do that and then put a connector like that. And then can we just have like a, that sticking out like that? <laughs> is this gonna work? I have no idea. And then another bit, uh, can we attach that to the top? Oh, yes, we can just have a massive kind of battering ram type thing. Um, and then, just to add some weight to the front, uh, we'll just add these connector things. That's fine. There we go. Pop one of them on there. And one at the front. Because why not, eh? Okay, so massive battering ram type thing. Take that, and it's missed. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cl clear that. That that didn't work at all. Hang on. Revert to last step. <laughs> Can we undo? I think we can undo all that, can't we? Yeah, there we go. Right, hang on. Let's uh, let's try that again, shall we? Because that clearly, yeah, uh, that clearly didn't work as intended. Hang on, hang on, because it just sort of fell off, didn't it? Um, do we need to put a connector down here, possibly, and then have that sat on the? What happens if we do that? Because we can just test this. That looks much better. That looks significantly better. Okay, boom. Oh. Okay, that might have taken those things out without even using the other bits. Um, yeah, I think maybe it has. Have we completed the level? Yes, we have. Okay. <laughs> that was more luck than judgment. I will be completely honest. But okay, we'll run with it. We'll absolutely take that. Okay, so that is complete with a fairly high level of destruction, I would like to think. 100% in three moves. Okay, go words. Right, so let's go to the next level. Use rotators to turn parts. Okay, now we're getting into technical bits and bobs. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a couple of the little sort of squiddy things swimming past. Um, yes, we've got these kind of floaty houses. There's three purple wibbly things that we need to get rid of. And yes, we have a rotator. Okay, so what if we build ourselves? Um, could we put, hang on. Could we use a, a heavy beam with an arm, like a, not that, the ultra heavy cube on the end of it. So let's have a look, rotator. Okay, so put that there. Okay, we have a rotator. And then what if we then put that, uh, like that, and then have a connector like that, and then have, hang on, get another one of those, put that there, and then a connector, and then put that, Hang on, where's the cube? Put that on the end. And is that just gonna fall down under its own weight? Or is that able to swing around and destroy stuff? Let's see, shall we? It's, oh, is rotator not supposed to rotate? Oh no, we do it ourselves. Is that how it works? Or is a rotator just struggling? I think it might be, oh no, it's going, it's going. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Take that, rubbish old buildings. Oh, and look at all the bits just crumbling and falling apart. Oh, I see down here. Is that what we're supposed to do? Are we supposed to switch it on and off? Ah, right, I see. And that rotates the angle, that uh, the direction of travel. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, that's very exciting. Okay, I like that. Yep, that's good. We just destroyed a load of stuff. Surely very high. Very high level. 93% in one move. Marvellous. Okay, on to the next. Use bombs to create explosions. Oh, absolutely, I would love to do that. Um, okay, ooh, there's a kind of a moving thingamajig. Okay, what's going on there then? It's very pretty to look at this game. It's very pretty. Look at it, it looks amazing. If very kind of bleak industrial future kind of amazing. I mean, look at the detail on it. There's all sorts of exciting things. Right, okay, so I think what we're gonna have to do here um, we've only got sideways beams going on. We haven't got upwards beams. So how is this going to work? Um, we're just going to have to build 
to the ah do we build to the base is that what we do so we put that beam there and then hang on hang on hang on let's zoom in a little bit and go like this so attach that to there and then have another beam like that possibly okay so that's all now sort of stitched together and then i'm thinking yeah do we have another one of those like that now can we rotate what the, can we rotate the beam so i can put it going that way to go sideways i don't quite know if we can do that um hang on a minute hang on is there a bit that's a, there's a bit that's a control somewhere hang on let me see if i can figure out how to rotate the beams Ah, there we go. Right, yes, got it. Absolutely right. So yeah, you have to have a thing selected and then you just then you just sort of scroll while it's in position. You just scroll the mouse around. Okay, so if we put that there, there we go. It can now go sideways. Okay, that's what we we're trying to find before, but never mind. Right, so connect that up. Okay, and then we need some more connectors on the end there and on the... Oh, hang on, on, on the end just there. And then I think we get another one of those to go oh crikey can we get that just there or is that going to be a pro oh, we can't i think we can't just yeah okay so get that there that one is positioned a bit weirdly but i'm sure it'll be fine and like that and then we have a bomb so put a bomb there and a bomb there and that should take out these support legs and that thing will then fall down maybe possibly let's give it a go okay bomb bomb Okay, we have to detonate the bombs, let's remember. The whole big structure is falling down and we took out the middle thing because it landed on our structure. That was, that was spectacular to behold. And now we've got all these other little kind of bullet bill robot fish, just, you know, all homeless. Now, sorry, bullet bill robot fish. Okay, I'm very much enjoying this. Okay, on to the next. On to the next, that is 97%. That was a little bit up on the top, wasn't it? That wasn't quite destroyed. Okay. So now I've got bombs. Use thrusters for propulsion. Oh my goodness, we can create like destruction rockets. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Okay, right, hang on. Hang on. We need to get rid of all of those bits. <laughs> there is, hang on, hang on. There is a bit of a wall there though. So we are going to need to go upwards a little bit. Um, okay, so if we just position that in the middle and then do we have a heavy pillar on the top of that and then put that I don't know, like that, and then have a thruster on the back. I mean, is that is that going to go? And if we press go, and then I don't know, is that ignite the thruster? Oh. <laughs> that is spectacularly brilliant and very very silly. Okay, right. So the build it. There you go. The purple bits are falling off. Oh, that purple bit is gonna. That's a problem, isn't it? That purple bit there has remained. Unless we clear it and it's going to take it away. No. Oh, no. There you go. It blew up. It blew up when we removed all the kind of stuff. Okay. That was fabulous. I like that. Right. We've now got rockets. Oh, can we stick a bomb on the end? We could have like a mobile bomb. 100% destroyed. Okay. That was very, very successful. Okay. So, two, three, launch. Okay. So, that thing above us is... Is that moving? Um, no, it's got several purple things at the top there. Oh, I see. Right, hang on. Hang on. We have to fly upwards and take these things out. And we have one bomb. Okay, I see. Right. And the game is giving us a little hint there with the missile thing sort of flying upwards. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. Right, okay. A rotator. I don't even think we need a rotator, do we? We just need it to go upwards. So can we have, um... I mean, a heavy pillar going up would be... That's what we need to build the rocket on. So how about we have a connector and another connector and then we have uh, the heavy pillar. How on earth are we going to get this to go sideways, though? I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go, zoom in, zoom in. Right, go to here. If we could affix you to the side, that would be useful. Can we do that? So put that... Oh, no, it didn't like that at all. Hang on, hang on. Let's try that again. Put that there, maybe. No, that's not where we wanted it. Zed, undo that. Yeah, this is tricky then, isn't it? How are we going to get that into place? There's two thrusters, but there's only one heavy pillar. But we need the heavy pillar kind of supported on its own, kind of facing upwards. 
I don't know how we can do that. How on earth are we going to do that? I mean, we can rotate, we can spin everything around, but we can't put the thruster on the back of anything, can we? Because it's not going to work unless we rotate it while it's in the air. I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we can't just build upwards and put a bomb up there. We've got to fly upwards and do some destroying. But I'm not entirely sure how we go about doing it. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. Hang on. So fix that. Can we zoom, zoom in? <laughs> there we go. That's better. Um, so fix that to the side. And then fix that to the side of that one. And then have that like that. And then let's put the thruster kind of... Oh, how can we get the thruster underneath? That's an issue, isn't it? Um... I want the thruster to go underneath, game, so it's pointing the right way. Uh, ah, hang on. Rotators on either side. And then they're going to have to rotate the th thruster <laughs> to go downwards. Is is that? No, because they're not going to... No, that's not going to work. No, because that's just going to spin it inside. But this, I'm going to I'm going to make it go anyway because I want to see what happens. Uh, and then we'll just pop a bomb on the top because why not? And if we press go, and the bomb's going to fall off anyway. But I don't. <laughs> our um, yeah, our thing hasn't worked there at all. That's that's terrible. That's that's a dismal, dismal failure of epic proportion. Right, clear that, abandon that, reset the level. That was terrible. Okay, so maybe we have to put the pillar down first like that so hooray a big kind of central core type thing and then we have that across the top and then attach that one there maybe and that one there no not that no no i know what we need to do do that and that and that get rid of that so that one at the top then attach that rotator thing to there that rotator thing to there then we have a connector on there and a connector on there and then we put the jet engine thing on there and the jet engine thing on there and then we stick I don't know let's put another connector on and then the bomb on the top to stick that on I think that is now sticking the bomb in place I don't think it's going to fall off and then when we go we need to make sure the rotator things are in the right place like pointing downwards I don't quite know how that's going to work okay so switch that one on and then stop and that one on oh no we've fallen over okay <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'll set the bomb off. Boom. <laughs> Bother. Okay, right. Re reset the last step. Revert to the last step because it was it was almost there. It was almost there. It's a bit wobbly. Why why are we wobbly? Are we slightly off center with something? I think everything should be more or less in place, should it not? It kind of tipped over this way, implying that it's heavier on this side, although it shouldn't be. Okay, so hang on. So we need to just press that and that quite... Oh, no, hang on. No, not that one. I oh, know we're staying still now. We're staying still. This is fine. This is fine. Right, and now we stop... Ro mm, bother. Okay, no, hang on. <laughs> right, you. Let's get one done at this, at this point. Right, you rotate round. <laughs> and then we'll stop you. And then the other one can go round. Right, okay, so that's sort of pointing downwards. No, it's not really pointing. Hang on a minute. Let's get that one. Let's get rotate that one back round. This is the far one. So the far one is now pointing down. And now the one that's near to us is pointing down. This is all excellent stuff. Now, switch those on and... <laughs> okay, right. I think maybe... Right, hang on. Hang on. Clear that. Clear that. Revert to the last step. Let, let's edit undo. I think when we press go... Right, so all the bits fall away. If we turn that on... They both go, they're both going in different directions. That doesn't help at all. Okay, so let's point these properly. Okay, there we go. And that far one needs to be pointed in the right direction. This is fine, this is fine. I, I was never very good at physics at school. Science was a bit of a, <laughs> it was a bit of a no-go for me. Um, okay, so that's fine. Then both boosters need to go on at the same time. So hang on, hang on. Rocket ship bomb phase. Here we go, and... Boom! Blow up the bottom. <laughs> wow! That was spectacular. That was well worth the wait and all the awful comedic mishaps that went with it. That was amazing. Um, and it's complete. 
because the mysterious purple wibbly things have fallen into the gloom below. That was wonderful. Oh, can we have a replay? That was fantastic. <laughs> I assume we destroyed all of it. Yeah, 100% destroyed in three goes. Yep, yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm taking that and I'm running with it. Use lasers to cut targets. Okay, now we've got lasers. Okay, this is wonderful. Okay, right now, now, how are we going to make lasers work? Um, there's a great big, what is that? It's a great big structure to like a board, like a big billboard type thing. Okay, fine. So we have our destruction platform over here. So we've got a rotator thing. So if we just do that and stick a laser um, like that, Let's just, let's just experiment. So how is that going to work? So switch the laser on and switch the rotatey thing on. So that's going to go, yoink. Right, it cut, oh, <laughs> it just cut through the middle. So those two have gone. So the bottom two have now been chopped apart. Okay, that's good. So now turn everything off. Oh my word. That was fantastic. Right, now clear everything up. Uh, right, so it's tidied up our stuff. So now we're back to this. So the bottom two have gone. Uh, now we just need to build up quite a lot. The only thing is, I'm not sure how we're going to get that high to chop that bit. It's got to be just above this thing here. I don't know if we can get that high. Can we? How high is that thing? Okay, if we just go, uh, okay, solid platform, and then one of them, 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 just to build it up. Then a rotatey thing. Oh, we've got loads of the tall platforms, actually. I forgot about that. And then a laser. Uh, okay, right. So go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shoot the laser. We there you go. We took out something at least. Yeah, we we've fallen down. Help me. We've fallen and we can't get up. Okay, right. Hang on. That was that was a shambles. Undo. Uh, yeah, undo. Undo all of that because that was clearly a load of nonsense. So no, not that at all. Right. Put one of those blocks down there. And then let's fix that to the top. Fix it to the top properly. So it's in a line. That's good. Then connect that and put that there. So that's nice and connected. Then get that. That should be high enough, I think. So then put the, hang on, then a rotator on top of that. And then the laser on top of that, but central because that isn't in the middle. Come on, game. Snap it to the middle. There we go. Right. So now if we press go, is that going to hold or just... <laughs> it's a bit wibbly, but we'll see if it's going to work. Is it high enough? And yoink. Yes, it is. We've chopped it. Possibly a bit too high, actually. We might have to go for another round. And oh, no, the, the, the thing's fallen off. Oh, they're red things now. They're not, they're not purple anymore. And there we go. We've just used lasers to destroy the wibbly things. Okay, good job. Can we uh, we'll turn the laser off, actually? Let's turn the laser off. It's a bit of a health and safety nightmare, that thing. Right, there we go. Completed. I mean, yes, we did leave a lot of that level intact because we only had to we only have to get rid of the kind of the purple or red wibbly things. But I mean, we did leave a lot of that in one piece, didn't we? Okay, never mind. That's fine. Let's go to the next stage. Use mirrors to reflect lasers. Oh, my God. Goodness, right, okay, now we're getting into complicated territory over here. Um, okay, mirrors. Um, so, what's that? What's that? That's just a big Y. That looks like it's kind of like the inside of a computer almost. Um, okay, so what's that? Rotator, rotator, and a laser. So we've got, where are the mirrors? Are the mirrors just there? I don't know where the mirrors are. Uh, let's put uh, I don't know, one of them on and then put the laser on top of that and then we'll just press go and we'll switch the laser on and then we'll do some rotating and we'll see what happens. I'm not entirely sure what is happening there. So is there a mirror over this side somewhere? I assume there is. Now that's a mirror. Okay, so that's a mirror just there, but it's we're too low. We're way too low. Okay, right, hang on a minute, hang on. So, um, clear, away with that, back, oh, hang on, reset everything. Reset everything, please. There we go. Right, so get rid of that, get rid of that. So, uh, also we have two lasers. Uh, okay, hang on. Put that there. 
put the laser on top of that. Then put that on top of... That's not going to snap properly, though, is it? Like that. And then put the other laser on top as... Oh, is that centred? No, that's not quite in the middle. Hang on a minute. Oh, hang on. Undo that as well. That's definitely not in the middle. So, put that like that. So it's as near the middle as we can get it. Right, okay. So now, well, is that going to stay up first? Switch both the lasers on. And now can we just rotate to you? That is lethal looking. Okay, right. We've just destroyed all of those things. <laughs> I think. Have we just destroyed all of those things? Are we going to go around for another go? So we've chopped them in half. Those things aren't falling out, though. I thought maybe they would fall out a bit, but no. And it's not going anywhere near these. How are we supposed to get in there to destroy those? I am genuinely mystified. Unless there's lasers down here. Uh, not lasers, mirrors. There's no mirrors there. And we can't get any higher than that. I don't know how we can get higher than this. Unless... Oh, does that unlock a build point thing over here somewhere? Is there a build point? Where we can build some more stuff? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to press clear and see what happens. No, no parts left. Okay, right. Hang on. This level is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a tricky one, I suspect. Hang on. Now I've only got one laser. What happened to our other laser? Didn't we have two at one point? I'm very confused. What is going on here? Uh, okay, well, we'll put a rotator thing just there. And then we'll put the laser on top. But, I mean, that didn't do anything before, did it? So switch the laser on and rotate it. There. It's too low. That's way too low, so that can't do anything. Okay, so click abandon that. That doesn't do anything at all. So go back, edit undo, edit undo, edit undo all these things. That was nonsense. Uh, and again, I want me rotator back. I'm a bit confused at what's happening, because now we've got the extra laser again. This is very bizarre. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> but now we have an extra laser to play with. Um, okay, so if we put that laser on top of the other laser, and now we've got three lasers. <laughs> But no rotator. Have, I just, have we broken it? Hang on. Do we need to reset the entire thing? Hang on. Can we just can we just reset all of the things? Because it oh it's yeah it's I, I suspect maybe maybe I've confused it into oblivion because I can't go back. Uh, yeah, hang on, hang on. Can we just can we just can we reset this level? Reset the entire level. It's clearly gone a bit bonkaloids. So for now, let's just put the two rotator things on top of each other. And then, yeah, so they fit into place. Switch the laser on, because that's fine, because hooray for lasers. Right, and the bottom one can spin around, and then that's going to carve all those things into oblivion. But they're not falling down. Well, that one has fallen down a bit. That's quite good. Are we going to come around for another pass? Uh, no. Why are we not coming around? Hang on, what's happened to our laser? Oh, hang on, the la... <laughs> The front of our laser has fallen off, I suspect. Uh, oh, that's that's not going to help at all. Okay, clear that then. And we've got no parts left. Oh dear, this is this is very confusing. I don't quite know how we're supposed to do this one. I'm I I will admit I am stumped. I am very stumped with this. I think these are doors. So I think if we destroy this thing, that door's going to open. And then if we destroy that thing, that door's going to open because those wires are all connected up. Like that thing there, whatever this is, this tower thing, this power thing, is connected to this door. So I think if that goes, that door opens. And if that goes, that door opens. It's just a case of making that happen. And I'm not entirely sure how we go about doing that kind of thing. I am i don't know. Uh, okay, well, let's just keep trying. Let's keep trying. I'm intrigued to know what happened to our laser. Why did the front fall off? <laughs> What happened there? I've got no idea. Let's watch, shall we? What happens to our poor laser? So rotate the top bit. So that's doing nothing. Hang on. So then we can just go boop. Right. So that's now firing a laser underneath it. It's too low. Ah, but we are destroying that thing. But now... Okay, yeah. So that thing is now looking a bit worse for wet. So hang on. So if we can just rotate that round. There we go. So we just slice through the bottom of all of those. Let's see if when we come back round anything tragic happens. So what's happening to the laser? So there we go. We're doing it again. Right, and then go back that way. And then go back this way. And then... Oh, right, okay. I see. We have to keep repeatedly applying pressure. But now the front's falling... <laughs> the front's falling off the laser again. We've opened this door. Now it's fallen apart. <laughs> 
No laser. Why? It's, it's, repair squads. Repair squads to aisle two, please. Fix the laser. Okay, so we're back to where we were. Maybe, maybe we only have so many uses of the laser. Maybe when the laser has been on for too long or something, it then just explodes. So I think let's position this in the right place first. Let's not just turn the laser on and go, hooray. Right, and then we'll switch that on for a bit. In case that didn't do too much stuff at all. So let's rotate it. Nope, not that way. Like that, maybe. So is that doing some good damage? Possibly. Right, turn the laser off so it doesn't explode. Right, now let's just have a look at what's going on over here. So, okay, move it. Round. No, 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 what? Okay, right, you're coming around this way. It's fine, laser. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, right, and then switch it on. Okay, and now switch it off. Yeah, we're just going to be patient with this one, I think. I suspect patience is going to be what we need for this one. So then it's going to be a case of doing it again and turning it off. Yeah, so now we're removing all of the blockers in the way, look. We're stopping all of these things from getting in our way. Right, let's switch it on and lots of boomy explosions. This is good. This is good. The front of the laser hasn't fallen off as well, which is always a positive. <laughs> That's a good thing. Right, there we go. So I think next time we should get that thing. We'll get that thing, I imagine. So here we go, the final one of those. So there we go. Right, and that is now looking a little bit wibbly as well up there. That's looking a little bit weak. So now, if we just switch it on again and do that. Yeah, we're bringing that down. I think each time we're cutting a layer of the, you know, the underneath off and it's getting ever so closer to us chopping it apart. So, and again, right. So now when it comes around another time, hopefully we destroy that and it will open the door. Okay, this is all good. This is all good. Right, and chop. Right, okay. So that door is now open. So now, how on earth is this going to work? This is going to be so slow. Okay, so then... That's gone into there and we're going to have to... Ah, that's fallen down. Ah, ha, ha. Right, okay. So that thing is powering that door. Okay, hang on. Can we blast it a little bit? Oh, no. Don't want to do that. So now we need to get rid of all of those things in there. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> okay. That should be a better... Ah, now the door is open. Ah, here we go. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. We're all good. Now we can just point that at... Oh, hang on. No. Then we can bring it back round and then stop and then we can switch the laser on for a bit and that didn't do too much in the way of damage hang on so put it there uh, and then get it going and switch the laser on and switch the laser off so that's now getting a bit oh that's a bit wobbly that is a little bit wobbly right there that lift thing i think is maybe making it fall down um okay we'll give it another we'll give it another blast as we go round. so yoink that's that done. They will hopefully follow. We still need to get those two over there, though. We haven't quite finished yet. So let's see. Oh, there we go. Those two are done. Uh, and now it's just these ones here that need to be destroyed. That are desperately clinging on. <laughs> come on. Come on. And yoink. That's another run. Hang on. If we do this right, we can just keep... Uh, yeah, don't have them both on, because that's silly. So then we can bring it back round. Go yoink. And then bring it back. No, turn the laser off. I'm not losing the front. I'm not losing the laser. <laughs> not again. Right, one of them's gone. It's complete. <laughs> I think there is probably a more efficient way to do that level. That was, I mean, it was very interesting to do. I, I think maybe just, you know, just maybe don't, don't try and use mirrors for it. And just you, I don't know, put a laser just here. But anyway, whatever the case, it's done. Everything is brilliant. It's all a mess. We'll tidy that up. Not that much destruction because a lot of the stuff remained behind. But apparently in one move, go us. Um, I don't know how much we've got left to do. Activate pistons to throw objects. Oh my word. Okay, right. How is this going to work? Um, okay, so what do we have down here? Activate pistons. Um, okay. How do we do that? How do we activate the piston? We've got to destroy these things here. Uh, okay. Okay. So what if we put, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, what if we put a, a cubey thing like that? That's going to kind of roll down the middle. And then we just put a beam attached to the front of it or something. A beam on the top like that. If we then go, then nothing happens. Hooray. <laughs> okay. Click, yeah, that, no, no, that, that, abandon, that didn't work. That Give us those things back. There we go. Right. Undo that because that was terrible. Uh, right. Put another cube like that and then can we put that 
the front like that. Is that enough to weigh it down so it falls? Yes. Okay, right. Now that should... There we go. We've crashed into those things. So now we've... Ah! We've activated the Shovatron. Oh my word! <laughs> okay, right. So all the bits fell down. And then... Oh, it, apparently it's complete, everybody. I wasn't thinking that was going to work. Oh, we've made a bridge. Ah, oh, that's nice. Look at that. We've made a little bridge, everybody. Aren't we good? Okay, that was, <laughs> again, more luck than judgment. I thought we'd have two goes. I thought we'd destroy those things and then we build a load of stuff to go down there. But no, nope, that was uh, that was seemingly enough to destroy all that kind of stuff. Wonderful. Okay, so I mean, that was quite high in terms of destruction. 77%. Use cannons to reach far away targets. Okay. <laughs> um... Where's our build? Oh, there it is. We've got three build thingamajigs. And, right, hang on. Hang on. So there's, right, so if we destroy that, that is going to propel whatever's on these up and then onto there. So we're going to need a cannon to destroy that thing. But then we are going to need to build some stuff over onto these things because they're going to catapult up and like sort of mortar things. Crikey's okay, but we can only build on here. How are we going to do that? Um, okay, so a heavy pillar, probably right on the edge, is quite a good idea, I think. Right, then a connector thing, so that just needs to sort of tip forward a bit, I think, doesn't it? And then another heavy pillar thing on top of that, and then a connector, so that's going right down the middle right now, and then. Can we put a heavy beam on the top of that and then a connector there? <laughs> this is going to be two goes, this one, I think. And a connector there. And then put a cube there. So that should be enough to land on the side, I think. So like that. Okay. So let's see if that works. Is that going to be too heavy? That's not going to move, is it? Um... Okay, it is moving, just not in the way that we kind of wanted it to. Right. Okay. Oh, that's not on at all. Well, that's... Yeah, that... No, no, no. That, that's... That, undo. Edit, undo. That's a disaster. Yep. Step back. Let's let's try that again. There we go. I think it's built a little more centrally, which is very handy. And it is now based on one of the smaller blocks. So I think hopefully that should tumble over and push everything else over. So uh, here we go. Let's see if this is going to work this time. <laughs> Please work. Um... Okay, we might be all right. Yes, it's going down the middle as we kind of planned. It's going to hit that. Then hopefully all that can fall down. Um, okay. <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. Okay, and now we've lost the bits that we needed. I was kind of expecting those bits to fall into there. And then we'd use a gun thing to shoot them. Okay, right. Uh... <laughs> That also did not go according to plan, because now we have no bits to kind of catapult over there. Right. Uh, okay, right, okay, back back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. This is clear. Hang on, what if we press it again? Are we going to have a slightly different kind of result? Oh, maybe it doesn't need the extra pillar. Maybe it doesn't need the additional one, because it is hitting quite high. Look at that, it's hitting all the way up there. And, oh, oh, phys physics is happening. Physics has happened. Yeah, we've just created a lovely kind of ramp. I don't think we need a ramp. Okay, hang on a minute. So clear that. Hang on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's shrink that by one sort of big, tall pillar thing. Let's take that one out. Okie doke. There we go. Let's see if this fares any better. So it's now just one kind of big pillar shorter. So hopefully that can tumble over. Those bits can then end up in here. That's okay. Ah, right. I see what we need to do. Okay, so that's fine. So, of course, we lose those bits. So, what we need to do is we need to roll back like that. And then we're going to need to put probably a heavy pillar just there, I imagine. I don't know how high the thing is that we need to shoot at. And then the gun thing, hang on a minute, can go like oh, like that, possibly. Is, is that allowed? The gun thing is sticking through that. Okay, let's just do physics. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not gone entirely according to plan, has it? That's gone a little bit kind of wrong. This bit's fine. I'm quite happy with that bit now. But now we need to figure out where exactly we can put the cannon thingamajig. Uh, okay. 
This is a tricky level. This is very taxing indeed. I mean, yeah, we can't put the cannon there because that's not going to work, obviously, as we've just seen. Um, I mean, does the cannon just fire in a straight line or can we rotate it when it's when it's on? Let's put the cannon there and we'll just muck about with the cannon. So what exactly happens? Okay, it just fires a thing. Ah, right. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Okay, right, hang on. No, I hadn't. I was just, I was just testing game. I was game. I was just testing. I, yeah, I, edit and do. <laughs> that was just a test game. My goodness. Okay, right. So the cannon is fine just there, I believe. So let's do this. So let's let physics happen very slowly. Okay, so this is going to tumble over and this is fine. So that falls into there. Oh no, all the bits are broken. We've got some bits here, some bits there. Okay, so now we fire the cannon. I think the cannon does fall off the back because I think it's going to be sort of propelled backwards. Fire the cannon. Boom. That blows that thing up. That should trigger these things then catapult into the skies and that should hopefully come over here, land on this and smash that part into oblivion. Okay, that's a perfect hit and look at that. It's going to tumble in and have we taken out the glowing thingy? No. <laughs> it's the target remains i repeat target remains oh botherations okay um oh no we did do it 88 percent destroyed oh hooray okay oh no we did do it okay that's fine that's fine i thought maybe we hadn't done it but the game was just it was just it was just toying with us Okay, okay, there you go. Thanks for playing. This was the last level. Check out the sandbox. Seven moves to get that done. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, there we go. I mean, what is the sandbox game? I, I mean, I'll have a nosy at the sandbox. I've, I've pressed the button for sandbox game. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to the sandbox. Oh, okay, right. The sandbox just gives you everything. I mean, what is that? There's hinges. Uh, there's magnets. There's a shotgun. Oh my word, hang on, hang on. Can we just play with the shotgun for a moment? Can we just sort of press go and go boom? Oh, that's that's very exciting. Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> Is that going to fall down? I suspect that's going to fall down momentarily. It's going to take a while for it to tumble, but it is tumbling very slowly. Very slow physics going on. But there we go. One shotgun and we have destroyed the thing eventually, when it vanishes out of sight. I think it explodes at some point. There we go. Hooray! Glorious success. And then, yes, you can just you can just sort of redo that and... Re oh, no, you reset it, look. And then you just put it back. Okay, that's exciting slow mode. You can have different things. Oh! So you can position your sort of uh, build point. You can have it as a tower, the orb station, destroyer, fortress, long tower. Okay, so these things aren't in the demo. Ooh! A triple wall. Oh, big boy. <laughs> oh, right. There's a massive, big kind of central defense thing that we have to get through. Wow, that's exciting. And then, yeah, the environment styles are not in the, the uh, demo, only the destruction kind of style, sort of uh, world kind of pack thing. Uh, OK, that that's very exciting as well. So if you want to, you can set up your own scenarios and then try and destroy those as well, if you would like to do that. If you haven't had enough destruction on a regular basis, you can then go and use cannons. Hang on, hang on. What if we just put a cannon just there? What? How powerful is the cannon? How powerful? So boom, not that. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on. So can we reset things? Reset that, clear that. What if we just have a cannon, on top of which is a cannon, on top of which is a cannon? I mean, you get where I'm going with this. I think you can see a pattern forming. And then we just press the button to fire all the cannons at once. Because I think there should be one of those buttons. But then that's now going over the top. Yeah, if we just press this. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll fire it now. <laughs> yes. Oh, but the red thing hasn't been destroyed. Of course it hasn't. It's down, but it's not out. But that was... That was very explodey. Okay, and now all of our cannons have kind of fallen off a bit. Okay, that that's wonderful. Yep, I like that. I like the fact that this is in the game, so you can make up your own scenarios and have a play with all the different kind of gadgety, widgety things. If you want to, hinges and lasers and twiddly bits. What's that do? Oh yeah, bomb. Forgot about the bomb. So there's loads. There's absolutely loads of stuff. Hang on, can we just... Can we just... Hang on, can we do this? Just stack up a load of these. Then just have a load of bombs on the front. And then just just do all that. Where are the propeller things? 
uh, thrusters to have thruster, 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 <laughs> thruster, and thruster, and then have bombs on the front of these. So, oh no, we need a we need an attachy thing. Hang on, attachy, uh, attachy thingamajig, attachy thingamajig, uh, attachy. I think I've just attached them to the top of each other. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure this will all work absolutely fine. And then bombs on the front of those. So yeah, bomb and a bomb and another bomb and a bomb. And guess what, everybody? A bomb. This isn't going to work at all because those things are not connected to the to the uh, connector blocks. I'm sure it's fine. Right, switch all of them on and boom, blow that off. <laughs> right. Where's the middle bit gone? I think we might have possibly succeeded that time. There's the middle bit. Bye-bye, glowing core thingamajig, and boom, away you go. Yeah, we did quite well with that one. That seems to have um, that seems to have destroyed stuff in there. Marvellous. Well, there we go. That was a bris. And do you know what? I was thinking about this. Does a bris actually mean anything, as in the word itself? Because I'm fairly sure that's not a real word. I'm quite confident that that's not a word in English. Anyway, I mean, maybe it means something in a different language that I'm completely unaware of. I have no idea. So either... It means something else in another language. It's an entirely made up word, which, you know, is absolutely fine. Or it's kind of like an acronym type word. So each letter of a bris stands for another word. I have no idea. I do not know at all. But there we go. Whatever it is, we have just played it. We just played some a bris, whatever it might mean. And, you know, I really enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. It was really, really good to play. I think the level of challenge was pretty much bang on. There wasn't a level, apart from maybe the first kind of, you know, very nice baby steps level, there wasn't a level where we did it in two seconds flat and it was a bit, yeah, done, bored. But there wasn't a level where we, you know, spent half an hour doing it and we were pulling our hair out, getting really annoyed, and we were ready to chuck it out the window kind of thing. It was a nice balance. I think the only one that we really struggled on properly was the laser level where we had to kind of use the laser and spin it round and turn it on and off all the time because I didn't realize that the laser kind of front blew up and fell off if we left it on too long so once I'd worked that out we were able to get through you know we got there in the end which is generally kind of how things go in the geek cupboard but yeah I really enjoyed it and it looks spectacular too it looks really really good I don't think it looks amazing particularly I mean even on the menu screen you can see there's a lot going on there's a lot going on here on that kind of exploding building there. All sorts of little bits and explodey bits and there's like debris and detritus going all over the place. So yeah, it's really good. It looks spectacular. But, um, but yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've had a very, very good time with it. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That that might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's a, that, this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. What Who's examining who? <laughs>